When you're talking about eyes and blindness, because one doesn't think you're going to go one blind. You're going to go blind. But it, okay. it's hard to say how much you can see. also vary on the times of day you know like I struggle more if I see at night you know I can't see literally hardly anything in the dark and if it's sun shining very very bright that's when I struggle so it's definitely you know people just presume one thing yeah because that just puts a grayness on and everything doesn't it and they say I'm frightened to go run out in the rain because I get my hearing aids wet. Don't, don't go on me and I've got to pay for new ones and so I dread the rain. <laughs> I can't go on a coach by myself now uh, if, uh, if I want to go on holiday. I miss not being able to drive the car. I miss not being able to go on a coach by myself on a holiday especially to a strange place, but I love Pembrokeshire and I miss my walking. I can't do it. And, you know, it wouldn't be fair to other people if I went. I'd feel as I was pushing myself onto them and I don't like doing that. Strange as it may seem, it does take me a while to get to know people. <laughs> I was born um, a full blind when I was two, and we sat back. But I've partially sighted all my life. I am now totally blind. And this was because of an um, operation. I had a cataract removed and I died on the operating table. So they started playing around with me with their eyes, you know. And they done a laser beam on me and they took that away. So when? That was three years ago now since he had it That's done to me, I. So I lost that three years ago. And, uh, I depend on people to help me. Is that quite difficult? Yeah. I know, I, I dream that I, I don't dream that I'm blind. I dream with sight. And I wake up thinking, oh, I can see. And then I realise I can't. Yes, that's really weird. <laughs> no, I don't think there is any escape. Probably sleep. You've got your eyes shut. You're not looking at anything. People, no, they 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 don't want to know you when you're not well. You don't realise how much you rely on your side for getting about. My worst part is if I'm walking along a road and I come to a step and I don't see it. I can see to go up steps, I can see the depth of the step going up, but I can't see how steep it's going down, so I need to use the cane to gauge the depth of the step. Your eyes are very valuable and you've got to take care of them, which I always did, but What's there is there, and it comes out eventually, doesn't it? But it's no use me worrying about it. They've done everything they can for me. I can just trust that people will be helpful, because I am by myself. Yeah, a lot of frustration. Anything in particular? <laughs> the fact that you can't see. Well, it's frustrating, yeah, it's just frustrating. When you're trying to read something and it, it, you just can't see it. And going back to like three years ago, when the sight failed in both eyes, it was uh, just a struggle, life was just a struggle. When I'm out in town using my cane, it can get so busy. You know, even on a not too bad day, getting round people. Everyone just gets in your way. And by the time I'm going home, I'm cursing under my breath. 
Do you know what I mean? Because I'm getting so stressed with it. You know, that's probably the one thing that frustrates me more than anything. I don't know what I've missed because I haven't had it, if you understand. But um, even last week I sat in a coffee shop and I, and I saw these two young girls in school uniforms, so they're both at school, whether they were sisters or friends, I don't know. But just the way they queued up and they got a coffee each or whatever they were drinking, the right and, and they got a cake and they cut it in half. And I thought, that's something I missed with my sister because she would never go out with me because she wouldn't go out with me if I used a white cane. Well, you know, I am grateful that I did. I could say it one time. Because yeah. I know what green, green is grass, blue is the sky. Some people don't know that. You, you know, some blind people are born, you know, blind. You ask them what what's blue, they don't know. Only they have to be told, the sky is blue, you know, the grass is green. Well, I've seen all that. I've been around more or less around the world as well. Are you very, very grateful for that? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just that I've left on my own now, you know. I don't like people that are insincere. And I, I, I think I'm very lucky that I can see people's faces. I always look at their eyes. Really, you just have to make the best of a bad job. And if you can't get over the hill, you can tell you well, you've got to get around the hill. It takes a little bit longer, but uh, you, must, you, must never go, you must never say, I can't, I can't. You must say, I'll try. Yeah, okay, you've got to, you've got to try and um, maintain a positive attitude. Yeah. You, gr you grumble at times, but nobody takes an notice, and so you, <laughs> you just don't. Uh, but the, the main thing is, you must not get depressed. I've always said, whatever I've got, and I've, I've, I must be honest, I've had a lot of things, I've always, there's always somebody worse than you are yourself. And I think you've got to have a sense of humour in this life. Oh, I do. I know it might sound silly to you, but to me it's just God's will, and that's it. But he, he, take cares of, he takes care of us one way or another.